So as promised, I'm finally making this video about my bad experience with CG Cosmetics in Miami, Florida. So to start, I booked my surgery about seven months prior and to begin with the clinic seemed really good they were really good at communicating they answered me very quickly problems started the month of surgery i guess they had change in employment i'm not really sure but they switched my coordinator who ended up being absolutely impossible to contact and they also kept trying to change my surgery date and my surgeon i think they tried that three times the same month of my surgery and I just didn't let it happen. Um, but let's fast forward to the day before surgery. They asked you to come to the clinic for like a pre-op appointment. And when I got there, everyone was really nice. That part went pretty smoothly, but I honestly expected to meet my surgeon that day, which I didn't. They told me that I'd be meeting him the next day, surgery day, which was a little weird, but I'm honestly not sure if that's normal, if that's what everyone does, or if that's like a COVID precaution. Fast forward to the day of the surgery. I arrived at the facility which they had me go through like a back route which honestly was really sketchy looking like it was like a back alley into like under the building and i waited there for about 10 to 15 minutes before they came and grabbed me and started prepping me for surgery um they take all your belongings and ask for the contact information of the person that's going to pick you up because you're not allowed to leave their clinic alone, you need someone to take care of you. So I did all of that and then they took me to a separate room where I waited for the surgeon. He came in, introduced himself, he was very nice, um, but it was just a very, very quick experience again. I'll just say that this entire experience really just seemed like rush, 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 chop shop. It just was not as comfortable or professional as I'd like it to be. But he came in, introduced himself, like I said in my previous video, that I had an idea of what I wanted. I had pictures that I wanted to show him, but because they were prepping me for surgery, they took all my belongings and I couldn't. So we kind of just talked about it. He pointed out my problem areas and we kind of just agreed to go with that. So it was a brief interaction. And then about 10, 15 minutes later, I was in surgery. And then this is where it all kind of went really downhill. I went under anesthesia. And then the next thing I remember, I'm waking up to explain and to visualize what this looked like. They took me into the surgery room and on the way there, it just looked like a very small building. You walk in and to your right, there's like three hospital beds with just curtains in between them where everyone walking by can just see everything. And then there's three um, operating rooms, all in just like one big circle. It's just very small. Um, but anyway, after surgery, I woke up in one of these three beds that were on the side and all I remember was being absolutely freezing. Like I was just my entire body shaking tremors. And I think I was awake for like five minutes or less when one of the nurses came up to me already started rushing me out. Like she started asking, she was like, oh, are you ready? And I was like barely conscious, just waking up. Um, and she was like, are you ready? Your, your sister's waiting for you. Let's go, let's go. And she started lifting me up so quickly i was just very very confused like, just like really gone barely awake kind of just like delusional not really sure what's happening but i was kind of just like listening to her and so she just like got me up really quick and sat me down in a wheelchair and then started rolling me out by the time she got me um down to where the car was i was kind of like coming to and like more aware but um that just seemed very rushed and like honestly a little bit scary i had no clue what was going on they helped me um crawl into the car and then i went to my hotel where I was being taken care of. And the first day post-op really wasn't that bad. Um, I fainted twice though, but that is normal. I was very present and like talking and I could walk a little bit. First day was not bad at all. But then second day post-op, I had one of my post-op massages scheduled and I was already starting to feel really, really bad by then. I got to my first post-op massage, which was not a massage at all. Basically, they took me into this room, um, took my compression garment off, and had me kneel on a bed. And they did not explain a single thing to me in this process. They just told me to kneel on the bed and they started working on me, I guess. Very, very quickly. I think there was two or three nurses that were doing this process, but I knelt on the bed and then I started, I started feeling like a pressure on my back, like two points of pressure on my back and then kind of like just felt stuff leaking down me. And I was just very confused what was going on. They were doing it so very fast. And then she moved to the front, which is where I saw what happened. I looked down and she just had like a little blade where she like reopened my incisions from the lipo and kind of just pushed my stomach so the fluids would come out. It was not a massage. It was not what I expected. It was not what I researched or 
saw what these massages were. I'm not sure if this is normal, but it did not seem normal when it happened. I was kneeling there when she cut the incisions in the front, just a lot, a lot of fluid and blood fell out of me, like nothing. Like it just poured out all down my legs, all in this bed. And by her reaction, the main lady that was cutting my incisions, she seemed shocked and like that was not normal. So they like quickly like pushed it out and then started wrapping me up, like put gauze and put my compression garment back on. And it was just like a very, very quick process. This probably lasted like five minutes of just cut, cut, squeeze out, garment, okay, leave. It was just very chop, chop, hurry up, get out. And honestly, that was probably the turning point of where I lost the most blood causing me to the next day having to be hospitalized. So I went back to my hotel room that day and it was just absolute hell after that. Everything hurt. I was very nauseous, painkillers weren't working, I could not sleep, like you could just tell there was something wrong. My entire face was flushed, my lips were blue, like I was just in complete agony and pain, like nothing would make it go away. The next morning early, um, we called the clinic, which by the way, they were absolutely almost impossible to reach after surgery. Everything just went to voicemail, but eventually on day three in the morning, um, we contacted the clinic because they usually have you have a follow-up appointment um, about a week after surgery But we called and asked to have that follow-up appointment pushed sooner because we were really concerned about what was happening Like I just did not seem okay. And so um, we scheduled that I went in and the doctor was actually very nice He was the most professional and actually the only helpful person throughout this whole process and he checked me really quick and he told me that I will most likely need a blood transfusion and that I need to go to the hospital as soon as I leave here. And so that is what I did. I was admitted to the hospital right after that and I had to stay there for another three days. I had a blood transfusion and all of that. So overall, my biggest problems with CG Cosmetics were terrible communication skills and everything just was completely rushed. It just did not feel like anyone cared about your well-being for the most part. Everything was just chop shop, get out, like get in, get out. And I just was not comfortable with that experience. Also, the things I bought from them, such as um, the compression garments and butt pillow and ab board, all the things you need, they all seemed extremely cheap. I bought two compression garments from them and it felt like after a couple washes they like stretched out or just were like t like wear and tear just so very quickly that it didn't really seem like it was doing the job it was supposed to and the butt pillow i got i literally could have just made my own it's just like a piece of foam with fabric over it, it I don't know. I've, I've seen other people that have gotten BBLs at different places and the materials they give them are much higher end quality. But again, I can't complain too much because you get what you paid for. But that is my story on CG Cosmetics. I definitely would not recommend anyone going there. I've seen several accounts and reviews and just so much abundance of people having very, very similar experiences. I know that they have changed their actual company name several times because of deaths they've had there. And so they changed the company name so whenever you Google them, it does not come up. I'll link below, there's actually an Instagram account in which I wish I would have seen prior to scheduling, but it just shows all of the mistakes they've made basically and how they botched so many people. That's basically the gist of my experience there. Do as you will with that information. I'll just leave you with please, 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 if you are considering to get a BBL surgery done, just do extensive, extensive research, read reviews, um, and just find a really good place. You do get what you pay for, so um, I would recommend not cheaping out like I did. Even though my results did come out nice, but like I almost died, so that wasn't too fun. Thank you for watching. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I also will have my Instagram linked and you can DM me there and ask me any other questions you have also. Um, but thank you for watching.